So today I had something a little weird happen. Today I woke up and I went outside. Shocker, right? Today I woke up, went outside to go and check the mailbox. I opened up this mailbox and it was just like, you know, the normal day, just, you know, a couple of bills or something like that. Just like random pointless little mail, little advertisements and stuff, little magazines and whatever. Everything was pretty normal until I started actually looking through all of it as soon as I got inside. It was just normal, you know, just a normal amount of letters. And I started looking through them to see if any of them were for me. And one of them was addressed to me. So with it being addressed to me, obviously I was just like, okay, well, I mean, just another day I got some letters or a bill or something. This is actually a letter from one of my subscribers. It was in my mailbox. And the weirdest part about this whole thing is that it was from Missouri. Like it's not somebody that was around here that like, you know, figured out where I lived or something. As you guys know, some a couple people have figured out where I live because I was stupid and I had my fucking address on my house in a video. It was just always weird for me because this isn't even like my house house, you know, it's my grandparents house. So I was always weird about that. Eventually people stopped, you know, showing up to my house and stuff. I guess they, you know, understood that that was like, you know, a little bit too far. If it was just my house, it would have been like, eh, you know, not as bad. Still a little weird, but not as bad. But since it's my grandparents house, I'm just like really uncomfortable with it. So this guy knows pretty much everything. He had my full name on there, obviously with Eugene. I had my whole address, obviously that's how it got there. He basically said something along the lines of, to begin with, sorry if I disturbed you or your family by sending a letter to your actual address. I was unsure whether or not they give you small letters at your local PO box, which they do. So if you're going to send me anything, please don't send it to my house. Now they did ask not to have this read, you know, out loud in any videos or anything like that, but I was just reading the beginning part just so you guys have an idea. This guy knew that it was like kind of weird and like for some odd reason he thought like it didn't go to the PO box or whatever. So he sent it to my actual address, which is, it's just weird. It's just really weird. How do you even know? I mean, like, why did you even look into it? Maybe we could just like Google it or something. Google.com, phase Jeff. What the fuck? One of the top things is address. Let's search it, see what comes up. Famousbirthdays.com. I think I've been on this website before. Hotbirthdays.com. Phase Jeff web video star, <laughs> Jesus. Member of FaZe Clan who entered 2015 with more than 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Was wished a happy birthday on Twitter by Pizza Hut for his 21st. And his most viewed video of 2014 was FaZe Jeff versus FaZe Rain. He launched his YouTube channel in 2009 and is from New Jersey. At this point, it's not even like I'm pissed. I'm just genuinely curious how you even found it at this point. You know how long I searched for my own dad and I couldn't find jack shit on him. I need to hire some of the people that found out all my shit so they can try and find my dad for me. This motherfucker's gone. People are like detectives, man. According to this website, I am the most famous person ever born on October 18th. That sounds like bullshit. October 18th famous birthdays. And that website's fucking bullshit. It says I was number one. Now it says I'm number three. Zac Efron is number one. Fucking Zac Efron? Really? He has the same birthday as me? Gwip Banks and I all share the same birthday. It still just, it blows my mind. Not born on the same years, but same day. Faze Jeb is a member of Famous Libras, Famous Web Video Stars, and Famous Born in 1993. The fact that they're even putting me in places with like Ariana Grande and these rich ass singers and super talented people is just disgusting. Why am I even here? Come on, internet. Like Ariana Grande is the same age just me? I always felt like she was older than me. See how much I pay attention? See, it's a really nice letter. Like, I read the whole thing through, and he, like, asked me to follow him on Twitter and all this other stuff, but it's, like, it's just weird. Oh, and as a note for that stream that's coming up on the 21st on Trick2G stream, people are still trying to figure out what it is, like, who we're playing against. And the only clues people have so far is, can you imagine? It has us five versus a bunch of blanked out faces, and the only clue so far is, can you imagine? If you guys are going to watch that stream, take a guess at what that actually is. I know the answer to all of it. I have the inside scoop. Doesn't seem like anybody has guessed it yet, so regardless, tomorrow everybody's gonna be able to figure that out. I don't know how surprised people are actually going to be, but this is some next level shit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go practice for this. I'm probably gonna need it.